<laughs> Hi guys, welcome back. Today Dad's going to show you how to make this little bow saw. Now for the blade, we actually used a broken bandsaw blade. However, I know a lot of you probably don't have access to that or the ability to cut that. So what you can do as an alternative inside of like your aluminum foil or your wax paper, you have this little tiny cutting blade that cuts the paper for you. You can actually just use that as your blade. Now, if you're using anything like this or the blade there, you can't let kids play with it because it is actually sharp and it will cut them. So if you're trying to make this for an older child, not a younger child, then I would not um, use any kind of blade at all. I would just use a piece of cardboard and paint it silver to look like a blade. Um, and you can use zigzag scissors to cut your cardboard so it has the little edges on it. All right, and remember small objects kids can choke on, so be careful and caution when you do stuff like that. And we will show you how to put this together. First thing you need to do is you need to cut all your pieces and um, on the ends, you're gonna round these off. And then these are toothpicks and each end is sharpened with a sandpaper to a point. And then you have your little one by eights or not one by eights, I'm sorry, eighth inch pieces of um, dowel. And then that's it, that's all it is to it. There's no template for this or anything because it would be pointless to try and trace all these little pieces. So eighth inch toothpick, and then this is just a small round dowel rounded on the end, and then your little blade, whether it be cardboard or if it's off of your foil or whatever, that's all you need. You make it off of your uh, coping saw blade, if you have one. This is what it'll look like, and I suggest using crazy glue, because the other kind of glue won't stick to the metal. What I did with this is I drilled two little holes in there with a small drill and I'm just going to put some crazy glue in that little opening so I can get it out of this contraption here. A little dab of crazy glue and we'll put it put some on this end. That's enough on there to use it with the other end also. He's gonna stick the end of that toothpick in that hole and it's got the crazy glue on it. And be careful you don't get that crazy glue on your hand. Because it will stick your fingers together. You get that in there. You can squirt a little crazy glue on the slit. Each one of these things has got a slit in the end of it. I don't know if you can see it, but that's where the saw blade will slide up into it. I put the slit in there on the band saw, but you can use it with a coping saw, you put it in. And we'll put this blade in. When you put the blade in, you want to let it extend out about a sixteenth of an inch or so on each side. reason for that is when you put the handles on the end of it they have something to grab hold of Put 
my fingers to operate this thing. It ain't operating too good. <laughs> Okay, so what we're doing now is we're putting it on a piece of masking tape where the sticky side is facing up to help hold it into place. Okay, so that's what it'll look like right there and now you want to take these little pieces here and you want to crazy glue them on the edges here and here. Notice I got a little little slit in there also. And we're gonna slide that on there. I'm gonna get my fingers working. Okay, and that's all it is to it to make this little bow saw. Now, realistically, they have a little piece of wire that also goes across here to tighten it, but um, if you want to do that, I would just use some jewelry wire or something. But that's it, and here is a penny to show you the size, and then there you go. All right, don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a question, suggestion, or comment below. If you want to see more, you have to hit that bell to be notified. Alright, thanks a lot. Have a great day and don't forget to follow Dollhouse Miniature Madness and Tutorials and dollhousetutorials.com. Also, we're on Facebook and Pinterest, so if you want to see lots and lots of images, check those out. Alright, have a great day.